Hi guys, in this episode, we're gonna talk about cleaning tires, properly cleaning tires, and make sure they're ready for a great protection. Check out, we washed and cleaned uh, already a little bit the rim. And now we're gonna start by spraying G on tire, fully on the tire. I have two brushes, one's cut off, which I can agitate without harming these black sensitive rims. Or we have the Gion brush, which has a leaf shape and is also very interesting. So you see it's really brown. We don't want that, we want to have the suds white. So now when you use a brush or use this brush, make sure, make sure you, you rinse the brush properly before you start the second round of agitating the tire. So now I'm gonna take this uh, old bucket with uh, water and rinse my brushes inside. Take the pressure washer and I'm gonna do a first rinse off. Okay, we rinse the tire to double check and to see if we have properly cleaned it. And when you have the sud, because in these kind of small things, a lot of dirt can get there. So when you have the suds really white, which is not the case yet, yeah, it's still a little bit of brownish because of this inside stuff. So I'm gonna repeat until I have my white suds. I have cut off this brush. See, it's very small, because this way I can push harder without damaging and still having an effective removal of grime. There we go. And again, I'm gonna rinse my brushes. And normally when I check now, you will see that my sets are white and this is the thing you want to have for a proper bonding of the protection after we are drying the tire. After this we're going inside and I'll show you how to properly protect it. The process of Gion tire is a bit longer that's why for a maximum durability we use a heat gun. I'm gonna warm up the tire and after that I'm gonna apply Gion tire so that it can really soak in the tire. Don't make it Super hot, but just make it really warm to open the pores. This might take some time, depending on your heat gun, but it's worth the effort. I'm gonna take the Gion microfiber applicator pads, Gion tire, and for the first application, I'm gonna use a bit more. Okay, just to get it on my microfiber, I'm gonna tap some places. And let it really soak in the tire. Why I like this applicator is because without scratching, you can really get into these edges of the tire, even if you take it off your hands. So we have also these kind of ribs here. With your microfiber applicator, you can wipe in the same direction or you can take a brush to make it as even as possible. So now what you want to do is leave the tire a minimum for the next day to let it absorb the product. You will have a satin free finish or satin finish and it will, has, it will have the maximum durability it can have by heating up the rubber. So good luck and see you in the next episode.